Rod Gramsey, general manager at MRG Tool and Die. Um, MRG was started by our parents, Mike and Eva Gramsey, in 1979 as a dye shop. That's why it's MRG Tool and Die. Uh, that was his background in dyes, machine fixtures, weld fixtures, and special equipment. And then we branched off into uh, the piece part machining, the custom manufacturing, and inject plastic injection molds from there. Customers are across the United States. Um, we have some in Europe, some in Canada, and some in Mexico. Uh, we ship parts. Most of the parts that we ship are within the um, Midwest. Uh, we have some East and West Coast, and we also have, we said we have Canada and Mexico and, and Europe. They said we've been using Job Boss for about 30 years. So when Job Boss came out in the DOS format back in the beginning stages of it, we were a user at that point in time. Um, so as far as transitions going through the impact of Job Boss on the business, um, being we've been in business for 39 years, um, we've had Job Bosses for 30 of those. So um, I guess you'd say Job Boss has been one of the tools that have helped us migrate the, the ins and outs of changes year after year and, and growing from a, a smaller company to the 60, 70 employees that we are now. The Logic dashboards have provided us a way to visually see information that we have within Job Boss. We've been a long-term Job Boss user, we have the information in there, and we've tried different ways of utilizing it and getting it out of the system and being used in a meaningful way. Myself, being a visual person, um, it helps me to see it visually, to understand it, and to relay that to other team members to get a better understanding. The dashboards allowing us to do this. When I saw, when I was looking for ways of getting the information visually, um, that was a gap that we saw. When I was introduced to Logic at IMTS, I saw that as an opportunity that that could fit the back, the the void that was there. Um, so, as it works, it allows us to look at it very quickly and see a very good snapshot of whatever information you want to see. Currently we're looking at it to say where are we at on our sales for our projections for the year, where were we where were we at last year, looking at trends, where are we month to month, what are we shipping monthly, what are we invoicing monthly, we're looking at our on-time deliveries, we're looking at PO receipts and when it's scheduled to come in from our PO side, and it allows us to go back and see a long history on our customer base, what kind of orders come in on a monthly basis, um, what does that kind of look like allows us to have um, strategic conversations around what kind of volume of work we have that's due this month. We can talk smartly about those projects. We can look deeper into them to see is this realistic? Are we going to hit these due dates or not? And then plan accordingly. Update the customer with good feedback. Um, or if the customer is having changes and it's pushing those dates, we're seeing what that impact is on our business, that we have this investment up to this point and now it's being delayed another month or it's delayed another month and that starts talking about cash flow and we can input we can show this information to our team members that this is the reason why we're having this impact on cash flow because of what's happening with these projects this is the reason why these projects are being pushed off whether it's internal or whether it's our customer driven side so we can talk about things more smartly we can talk about planning purchases out in the future. Um, are we going to want to do this? We need to do this. When do we want to do it? We can forecast out with better visibility now um, versus going through reports. What are the jobs? What ship it was supposed to ship? We can look at it visually and then cross those numbers off and then summarize it up. A much quicker way of, for me to get that information. Um, last week when I did that exercise, what would have probably been about a two week exercise to get all that stuff going through from past experience was taken care of in a day and a half.